Hi everyone, today I will introduce to you the production of road surface signs. LiDAR 360 MLS has built-in templates for arrows, crosswalks, no stop zones, etc. which can be used for manual quick drawing and automatic matching and identification. I will mainly introduce the way of manual drawing. Take the straight arrow as an example and click the straight icon. Taking reference to the key points shown in the icon, the red point is the starting point and the green point is the end point. On the road surface, click the key points according to the actual arrow to complete the production. At this time, the straight arrow also exists in the layer of road surface marking. Other types of arrows and other road surface markings are operated in the same fashion. Let me explain the production of other road surface signs without key points. For example, how to draw crosswalks and add text, etc. Click on the crosswalk. We can choose to draw from left to right or from right to left on the road surface. Take drawing from left to right as an example. First, click on the upper left corner of the crosswalk point cloud. Then click on the lower left corner vertex to determine the width of the crosswalk. Then pull the box from left to right to see how the template fits with the actual crosswalk. When the fit is highest, we can click on the bottom right vertex to finish the drawing. The drawing method from right to left is the same as above. What can be seen is the crosswalk also exists in the crosswalk layer, and it is a vector object. Click to add text. First, use three points to draw a frame on the point cloud to form the largest outer box for a word or letter. Then enter the content in the dialog box, such as B, and click to draw text. At this time, the vector of the current text is displayed within the scope of the outer box. We can use shortcut keys to perform operations such as rotation, translation, and zooming to make the vector and point cloud fit better. The prompt of the shortcut key is in the upper left corner of the window. After the adjustment is complete, click next to continue drawing. When a set of text is drawn, click OK. At this time, a group of characters is stored in the corresponding image memory as a vector object. In the process of extracting road elements, if the amount of data to be processed is large, or the size of some symbols is not the national standard size, then how to quickly and efficiently complete road element extraction? In the next video, I will introduce batch road surface identification extraction and a custom template library for drawing using the AI method to customize the range. This is the end of this video for the introduction of manual drawing of road signs. Thanks for watching.